Anthony Dozier is a veteran of Desert Storm and Shield. His post-traumatic stress disorder started shortly after returning home. It was a huge void. It was almost like I didn't fit in to this, this life that I came back to. This former drill sergeant faced a long, hard road. I didn't realize uh, what was going on with me, you know, mentally at the time because, um, you know, I'm a soldier and, and I don't, I can fix anything. I can overcome anything. That's my training. That's what I do. He couldn't fix his PTSD, but he could and did seek treatment, finding a good therapist and medications that also helped. The average doctor treating the average patient with PTSD is often prescribing a number of add-on medications to try to improve the response of treatment. Risperidone is one of those medications. A second-generation antipsychotic agent, it is often used in conjunction with two FDA-approved SRI antidepressants, Paxil and Zoloft. You can clearly see the uh, premotor cortex in yeah. blue. Dr. John Crystal from the Veterans Affairs National Center for Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder and co-authors conducted a randomized controlled trial testing the effectiveness of risperidone versus a placebo in reducing PTSD symptoms. 267 veterans from 23 VA medical centers across the country participated. People who are getting the currently FDA-approved treatment but still need an add-on medication did not seem to benefit when risperidone was added to their treatment over six months. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. It shows us that, uh, that just because a medication can be widely prescribed doesn't mean necessarily that it's really helpful for the overall for the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. Today, Anthony says he's happy, in a good relationship, and also has some encouraging words for fellow veterans with PTSD. Recovery is possible, um, that it, it never goes away, but you can live, like, like I do now, a uh, healthy and prosperous life. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.